alive with people and joy and fun. And streets are normally for the movement and storage of automobiles, but it doesn't have to be that way. We need to have a permanent open streets, lots of them. We need to have places for people to hang out with benches and with shade from trees. We should make this city a nicer place to live, not just a place to drive through. Now that everyone's seen it, they don't want to give it back. The majority of people in Manhattan do not own cars. Uh, we do go to restaurants though. We're pedestrians, we're cyclists, we, we want to get from point A to point B. It gives you a chance to appreciate nature as it is in our city and especially seeing the historical buildings as you ride through. 103rd Street is very unique in several aspects. Of course, it connects Riverside Park and Central Park, two world-class parks. So our vision is a 21st century 103rd Street called Park to Park 103 open street. This is the sort of thing that we would love to see every weekend, every day, all summer, where you have some streets that are fully closed to traffic, where you get rid of all the parking, and you give the space over to people, and you have to activate that. We've had hula hooping and games, and music and dance and art, and it's just been incredible. <laughs> monsters or they're somewhere between flora and fauna and the idea is that this is a creature that is native to this habitat of New York City and what was wonderful was that the children sort of all gathered around and they almost tried to stop us and I had to kind of shake my plastic bags to push through to get them out of the way. I think the mayor, next mayor, um, you know should make open streets permanent, finance this stuff so it's not run by volunteers, we're in a rich city don't depend on people to spend 40 hours a week on top of their job, like moving barriers around. We need to support the volunteers that are working on open streets. We need barricades that actually work, signage that actually works. But we also need the city agencies to start working together and taking responsibility. Now, I am Sensei Leonard, and it's the Open streets have transformed New York City from a pandemic pause that never seemed to end into a joyous celebration of life. The thing about uh, culture is it's the reason why people live in the city. You live in the city for dance, for music, for getting together with people, and for celebrating. Look how the kids love this. Like, this is unbelievable. I mean, this sort of life, you get a chance for people to come out, to meet their neighbors, to build community.